breathe in, breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Three more rounds. Last one. Keep your breath going, start adding in some movement. Sweep your palms to the sky, lengthen through your body. Exhale, twist to your right side. Let your left hand press into your right thigh. Inhale back to center, lengthen. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist right. Plug your right shoulder in along the spine. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist left. One more time each side. As you inhale and reach, full extension, like you could lift your hips off of the mat, then exhale, press your hips into the earth, squeeze around the spine. Inhale, center, exhale, twist left. Come back to center, big breath in. Forward fold, walk your hands forward. If you're on your knees, that's okay. You'll be in a child's pose. If you're seated with your legs crisscross, maybe draw your, your knees wider so your feet are stacked one in front of the other rather than on top of each other. Lift your head, lengthen halfway. Forward fold once again. Roll all the way up. Move into tabletop on your hands and knees. Spread out your fingers. Start to shift side to side. Take a little bend in each of your elbows, just pumping some blood into our shoulders, pumping some blood into our chest, all the way down through each arm to our palm. Rock back towards your toes. Keep your toes tucked so you're stretching through the arch of each, each foot. And then bring your weight forwards. Do that again, rock back, hips over heels, maybe even tucking your knees to your chest. And then ground your knees and draw your chest forwards over your thumbs. Do that one more time, rock back. Rock forwards, open up your chest, drop your belly towards the earth. Exhale, pull your belly in and up, round your shoulders, cat. Inhale, cow, drop the belly, lift your chest. Exhale, cow. Big bend on your elbows while you're in the transition into your cow pose. Big bend in the elbows as you transition to your cat. Bring your spine neutral, press crown of the head forwards, tuck your toes and hover your knees. As you hover your knees, imagine squeezing a block, or you can imagine a resistance band around your thighs. So you're just gently pressing out, pressing wide, but not letting your knees go wider than your hips. Just adding a little bit of your own resistance, your own power, awakening. Full breath in. Downward facing dog, lift your hips. Lift your head halfway. On your exhale, let your head drop heavy right between the arms. Roll up to your tiptoes, big inhale. Exhale, roll back and down. Sweep your right leg to the ceiling. Keep your hips square towards the earth. Put some power in your standing leg especially. 
spread out your toes, draw your left kneecap to your quad, and then press out through your right heel like you're stretching a giant rubber band. One more breath in. Cheetah pose, knee to chest, shift forwards. Three leg dog, keep your hips square. Downward facing, release. Left leg to the ceiling, three leg dog, keep your hips square. It takes a lot of attention and focus, a lot of effort in my body to maintain that hip square position right here, but it puts a lot of power in my foundation. So try it out in your body. One more breath. Cheetah pose, knee to chest. Three leg dog, left leg high. Downward facing dog. Take about five or six steps with your feet, just slowly walking them up to your hands. Try to keep a lot of weight in your palms as you lean forwards. Now bring the weight to your heels, halfway lift. Gaze comes forwards. Forward fold, exhale, lean in. Roll all the way up, extended mountain pose, palms to the sky. Bring your hands to your heart. Full breath in. Full breath out. Three more breaths in and out of your nose. Let your eyelids be soft and relaxed. Set an intention for this daily ritual, daily sadhana. Inhale, palms to the sky, Urdhva Hastasana. Uttanasana, forward fold. Weight comes into the toes and the palms. Halfway lift, weight into your heels. Squeeze back around the spine. Ground your palms, step to your high plank pose. Take a full breath in this first plank. On your exhale, lower knees. Bend your elbows halfway, letting them squeeze around the ribs. Upward facing dog. Engage your legs, lift your thighs, send the crown of your head up and slightly back. Downward facing dog. Five full breaths. You can take any little movements in this five breaths, but, five breaths, but try to avoid fidgeting or moving just for movement's sake. See if you can anchor down into your breathing, down into your foundation. See if you can anchor into this present moment. Spread out through your fingers. Check to make sure they're just shoulder width, not too wide. Nice and narrow around the ears. Then same thing with your feet, not too wide. Big exhale out. Look forward, step your right foot forwards, and then the left, halfway lift, long breath in. Forward fold, exhale. Extended mountain pose, rise, look up, let your palms meet overhead. Samastutihi, reset. Inhale, extend, gaze towards the thumbs. Forward fold, release. Halfway lift, inhale. Low plank on your exhale. Upward facing dog, engage your legs. Lift and lengthen from heart to crown. Downward facing dog, hips to sky. Anchor and breathe. One. Two, a little shrug of your shoulders. Three, four, let your head drop heavy, gaze is at the top of our thighs or the navel, 
five. Make sure you finish your exhale. Look forward to step your left foot and then the right foot. Land in your halfway lift, top of the breath. Forward fold, lean in. Extended mountain pose, nice and strong with your legs as you rise. Palms come together. Samasthi to he, reset. Inhale, extend, Urdhva Hastasana. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Ardha Uttanasana, look out, lift up. Chaturanga down Dasana, step back. Try to alternate which is your stepping foot each round. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Here we land, we anchor and breathe for one. Two, keep lifting your kneecaps, getting this nice stretch along the back of your legs. Three, four, five, lift your gaze, halfway lift, step forward. Forward folds, extended mountain pose, rise, look up. Samasthi to he, reset. Extended mountain, inhale. Fold on your exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Low plank, chaturanga down to asana. Let the weight come into your palms, then step or hop back. Upward facing, downward facing dog. One, two, three, four. Five, gaze forwards, keep the arms and shoulders nice and strong. Halfway lift on your inhale. Fold on your exhale. Extended mountain pose, rise up, look up. Samasthi to he, reset. One more Surya Namaskar A, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, low plank. Urdhva Mukha, upward facing, inhale. Adho Mukha, exhale, downward facing dog. One. Two. Three, four, five. Gaze forwards, halfway lift, inhale. Fold, exhale. Extended mountain pose, nice and strong with your legs, rise up. Samasthi to he, reset. Chair pose, let your fingertips come down towards your feet, tapping the mat on either side, and then lift your palms, lift your gaze. Full breath in. Forward fold, exhale. Ardha Uttanasana, long, strong spine. Chaturanga Dandasana, low plank. Inhale, upward facing, keep inhaling as you lift. Downward facing dog, step your right foot forwards at the bottom of the breath. Rise up, warrior one. 
Exhale, hands to the mat, low plank. We start lowering as our foot slides back. Inhale, upward. Exhale, downward. Anchor your right heel, step the left, warrior one. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. One long and smooth exhale. Inhale, lift upward. Downward facing dog. Here we pause, five rounds of breath. Spread out your fingers. Engage from belly to thighs. Wrapping in this entire core body. Our core is not just our abdomen, it's our pelvis, it's our hips, it's our thighs, it's that whole center, integrating, uniting, and working together to make you feel strong, making you feel secure, making you feel safe and free to move. One more breath. Big exhale, gaze forwards, halfway lift. Forward fold. Chair, Utkatasana, anchor through your heels. Samastitihi, reset. We'll do that two more times. Chair pose, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Flat back, breathe in. Low plank. Urdhva Mukha, upward facing. Adha Mukha, downward facing. Right foot forwards. Virabhadrasana A. Follow your fingers as they rise. Exhale, release. Chaturanga. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press back, step left foot forwards, Virabhadrasana A. Chaturanga, release. Urdhva Mukha. Adha Mukha. One. Two. Three, four, five. Look where you want to land. Use your inhale to get there. Forward fold, exhale. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Samasti to he, stand tall and reset. Chair pose. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Low plank. Upward facing. Downward facing. Warrior one, right side. Low plank, release. Try to make it one movement to step back and lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, downward facing. Other side, left foot forwards. Virabhadrasana A. Chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale, return to your Adho Mukha Svanasana. Downward facing dog, final one of our daily sadhana. Keep breathing for two, three, four, five. Halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Forward fold. Chair pose, Utkatasana, lift up. Bring your hands to your heart, twist to the right side. Little rinse. 
for our spine, rinse for our lungs and our liver. Big awakening for our kidneys. Come back to center, stay low. Twist to the left side. Come back to center, inhale. Samasthiti, to he, exhale. Step your feet wide. Let your toes flare out slightly. So there may be like 11 o'clock and one o'clock. Malasana, lower your hips, bring your elbows to your inner thighs. Gently rock right and left. Hands are at our heart, thumbs pressing in at the sternum and then bring your chin to your chest, half circle with your neck. Lift your head back up to center. Relax your shoulder blades down and in. Full breath. Sigh out. Interlace your fingers. Send the heels of your hands forwards. Roll your shoulders forwards. And your hips might lift slightly as you reach out. Keep pressing your knees wide. One more breath. Release your hips. Send both of your feet forwards for Paschimottanasana. Palms to the sky, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Lengthen halfway. One more forward fold. Roll all the way up. And then roll all the way down to the mat. Extend your arms to the, to the back of your mat. Full body stretch, big inhale. Pull your knees to your chest. Let your knees part, reach for your feet. Let your toes stay together right over your hips. This reclined butterfly pose. And I'll start drawing your feet towards the ceiling for happy baby. You can keep your bind on your ankles or adjust them to the edges of your feet or big toes. Rock side to side. Release your bind, ground your feet in front of your hips. Lift your hips for bridge pose. Scoot your shoulders together, get long through the back of your neck. So we're working towards the tops of our shoulders. Hands can reach out towards your heels or bind right underneath the hips. Anchor through your heels, try to lift by using the strength of your legs and your glutes to support this hip opening. Feel free to unwind and bring your hips all the way down and then set up for shoulder stand or waterfall from there. You can also wedge elbows a little bit closer together right under the hips. Bring your hands to your hips and then lift up for a supported shoulder stand from here. It's kind of like a, a cross between shoulder stand and waterfall. Rather than using a block like we do in waterfall or a pillow under the hips, we're just using our hands and our elbows to give ourselves that structure that supports. Feel free to stay here or take your hips off of your hands. Let your hands come more towards your mid back for the full shoulder stand. Mm -hmm. 
Let your toes come out overhead for plow pose. Hands can stay on the back or you can interlace and reach your hands out long on the mat. Slowly start to unwind. Let your knees draw in towards your ears, your graze past your forehead. Slowly unrolling one vertebra at a time until your back is long. Your back is connected to the earth. Extend your legs. Reach your palms open. Big sigh out of the mouth. Take a moment of deep rest, Shavasana. This is a good spot to land for five minutes, 10 minutes, maybe even 20 minutes if you have the space. Just giving yourself this period of doing nothing, not letting the mind be busy, not letting your thoughts race. Sticking with this full relaxation of your body and watching your consciousness shift. There might be pockets where you're so restful that you drift into that sleep state and then you come back in to a conscious state, subconscious states. Letting feeling, thought, presence all mingle. If this is the end of your daily sadhana, your daily practice, you may need to reawaken, just start to bring your hands to your body. But if you have time to stay longer, just pause the video and let yourself be. Draw your knees to your chest, roll over to one side. Return to your comfortable seated position. Bring your hands to your heart, rub your palms. Hold your palms right in front of your eyes, close enough that you can feel your tingles. You can feel your warmth. You can feel your energy jumping from hand to palm, from palm to hand, <laughs> to your eyes. And then drag your hands down to your chest, letting them massage your throat along the way. Open your palms like you'd open a book and with a few blinks, see your hands. These are your tools. Use them to heal, to help, to create, to connect. The light and the honor is the light within you. Thank you for carving out this, this time and this space and getting to your daily sadhana. See you again tomorrow.
नमस्ते